you're watching Movie Guide. Hi everybody, I'm Cheryl Crisp, your host for Backstage Pass. It's been a busy year for five-time female vocalist of the year, Natalie Grant. She debuted her Dare to Be event on the big screen. She just released her book, Finding Your Voice, and a book series for children. We have an exclusive interview with Natalie Grant. I'm so excited about this. Um, you know, I didn't really set out to be a children's author, but my twin daughters, Gracie and Bella, um, when they turned eight and started getting into chapter books, it started this whole conversation of how to involve them in what I do, so it's not always mommy going to do it, but it's us doing it. And so they actually helped me write these books. They came up with the name of the characters and the plot and the cities we were in. The Glimmer Girls, um, it's like a play on words. Glimmer is their last name. But the word glimmer is also just that little faint shred of hope. It's a faint light. And sometimes it shines bright and sometimes it grows dim, but it's never extinguished. And I love that idea. That's just like us. You know, there's a light in us. Sometimes we shine really bright, and other days the flame is barely <laughs> flickering, but it's never extinguished. And I loved that idea, and so it's about twin sisters, Mia and Maddie Glimmer, and their little sister, Lulu, who go on tour with their singing mommy, Gloria Glimmer, and all the adventures along the way and the God lessons that they learn. And I think that other tween girls are going to love it because who doesn't love to read about the idea of going on tour. I think to every little girl, you know, that's exciting. And, you know, incredibly enough, my own little girls get to live that life, um, which they think is fabulous most days, but not every day. <laughs> and so um, even the little sketches look awfully lot like my little girls. And um, it's been a really fun family project. I've, I've had a blast doing it. <laughs> you know, the song is definitely a call to action and I think that with what's happening in the world, if anyone's like me, I turn on the news for just 10 seconds and I find myself panicking. Like, what world are my daughters growing up in? And how much worse can it get? And you know, you kind of just want to run and hide under your pillow and hope that Jesus comes back and makes it all well. Um, and yet in the Bible, he clearly says, don't panic. And he says it over and over again. God says, do not be afraid, don't panic. 365 times actually, which do you think that's a coincidence? No, he gave us one for every day of the year. And I feel like oftentimes the church is prone to that panic. They say there's more darkness in the world and an ever growing presence of darkness. Darkness has been in this world, you know, since the Garden of Eden. But I think that what I would say is maybe there's been an absence of light, that maybe those of us who are the hope, who have the hope living in us, have not done as well as we could at focusing on how to be that for somebody else, how to love on people. Instead, we make our signs and wave them on street corners and tell everybody all the things that we're against. But the God I know is for people. He loves people. And I feel like if we would do a better job of, of living that message, more people would be attracted to the light. And so this song is all about that. Instead of focusing on what we need God to do for us, let's instead focus on what we can do for someone else. When we can get our focus and our attention on how we can be light and love to somebody else, our own problems seem to shrink. <laughs> they don't go away, but they seem to shrink because we're not so busy focused on that. So I love the line that says, why sit around and wait for a miracle to come when we can be one?
being transparent is a choice I made a lot of years ago because I feel like we have a culture full of people who are airbrushed to get on stage and give us ideas of what we wish our lives could be. You know, we're constantly looking at somebody in the spotlight saying, oh, I wish I could be like that person. And all it does is continue to create dissatisfaction in our own lives. And I thought, what if I could be myself and totally honest, for better or worse, and transparent about as much of the bad as the good, then maybe people would have a deeper connection and would understand that, okay, even in the midst of the struggle, she still has hope, even in the midst of this. And I feel like it invites people into a part of your life that can be hard, but at the same time yield much better results, much deeper results, and a deeper connection with the people who love my music. And so it's not always easy, but I do think it was the right choice. <laughs>